We're starting to hear our first bump in the night. Voices, giggles, screams are reported to be very common coming out of the oh my Morty. I'm seeing them all around us. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt and Happy Halloween. I am really excited for tonight. This is my big finale to my October long Haunted Romania series and I've saved the best till last overnight in the world's most haunted forest, Hoya Bachu. Really excited. I've got lots of cool things planned. We're going to be camping here. We're going to have a fire. I'm going to be telling ghost stories. We're going to do some paranormal investigating and I have some Halloween candy. If you guys need to catch up on part one, I'll link that below. But I think it's time to get spooky. All right, guys, we are in the middle of the dead zone. This is also our base camp. Yay. So it's actually getting really chilly now. The sun's starting to set. It's going to be a pretty cold night, but I'm actually really excited for it. We're hoping we've got enough clothes, sleeping bags, firewood to keep us warm throughout the night. But we're really excited to camp here. And one of the things that I really, really want to get out of tonight is I want to see lights in the forest. That is something that this area is known for. And I just really would love to see that. Love to see what's on the other side of it as well. What is creating these lights that so many people claim to have seen and even captured on camera. As the sun goes down, we'll probably start doing a couple of paranormal experiments. Uh, we're obviously gonna try spirit box. Um, EVPs uh, will be really cool around here and disembodied voices, giggles, screams are uh, reported to be very common coming out of the forest. It's kind of creepy to think that we are sleeping in this area which is basically a perfect circle in the middle of the forest um, nothing grows here and there's no reason why it shouldn't grow um, so it's a bit of a mystery this is also where a lot of the paranormal activity is said to center a lot of UFO sightings have been here and people have even been attacked here and I just feel like we're camping directly in the center of this clearing it can be watched by anyone in the woods and we can't see them so it's kind of nerve-wracking and I feel a little vulnerable sitting here in the middle waiting for it to go dark. I wouldn't want to camp anywhere else here. I just feel like if we're going to see or experience something, it's probably going to be here. Crossing my fingers for Halloween. Alright guys, it's finally dark and we're starting to hear our first bump in the night. So there's a lot of um, noise coming from the forest around us, but it's very creepy out here, just surrounded by this world's most haunted forest in the middle of the night. So it's going to be a long night. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of noises come from the forest. Quite freaky. I think it's probably just animals, but I hear animals. like tree branches snapping and falling. There's also a plane going overhead I can hear. Yeah, I can hear a and plane I've heard, every now and then. I've heard a few planes go over and send them. No UFOs yet though. It's cold. It's so cold, isn't it? Okay, so we just heard a very bizarre noise coming from the forest and I'm hoping that the speaker on my camera recorded it but it almost sounded like a high-pitched cough and it occurred multiple times could be an animal but it was did you hear that Yeah. There's something over there. 
It almost sounded like it ran. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably an animal. Okay, so I was telling Jared before, I would love to see a UFO, a ghost, or anything really unexplainable, but my biggest fear out here is the living. <laughs> I'm so scared that someone's gonna stumble across us like out here. I'm, I'm here for the paranormal, not to be harassed by humans. All right, guys, this is just a plane flying overhead. You can see the lights clearly on the camera, but it is not paranormal. Or a UFO. Or a UFO. It's definitely identified. <laughs> One thing that is weird, and it's either a bug with the app or maybe it's paranormal, but my phone's battery has just drained from 49% to 14% in about 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's actually something that has been reported in the forest is electrical disturbances or electrical equipment just draining of battery. Yeah, like, like this all was, of a sudden. <laughs> this was fully charged when we left today and I had it off all day. Um, we literally just turned it on just to turned start it filming. On and I am actually seeing a light through there. Where? And over there, I'm seeing like lights. Bright? I can't no, see like them. No, like distant, like someone's walking through with a torch, but seriously, like in there, I'm not in here. Do you think someone's coming? I do. I'm gonna let find you, babe. Okay. In this next clip, we picked up what sounds like distant violin music. This was not audible to us at the time. Let me know in the comments below what you think it may be. Jared just said that he saw lights in the forest, yeah. uh, which is a common thing. I seen these lights um, in the, in, through the trees, sort of like the light that's shining me on, like a white light, maybe like a torch. It was very small and it was either flashing on and off or moving through the trees. It was in the distance. Um, I really didn't see it. I, I mean, other, there might, maybe there's other people here. Amy's now also claimed to see a light. Hang on, let me get down. to the ground just free the bushes here it wasn't heaps bright like a spotlight there was a light out there like a white blue light this is the same area and direction you saw the light right yeah it's odd and the other lights they're definitely not stars on the moon they're much lower lower to the ground yeah All right, let's see if I can capture these lights <gasps> wait I just think I got one oh, really? yes I can see one there. Oh, okay. That's the light, yeah. That's what we're seeing. And we're seeing them all around us. And then they go away. And they seem like they're fine. There it is again. Distant. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, that's really cool because this is exactly why I came out here and what I wanted to see. There's been a lot of reports of people sighting light anomalies, unexplained light activity. Alright guys, we're going to uh, venture into the forest now for a bit. Um, it's, we're going to head towards most of the sound activity that we've had and the lights and see if we can pick up on anything or debunk what we've seen. Um, yeah, follow me. Can you see guys? Yep. Oh, oh, So I definitely think those lights that we've been seeing are maybe street lights from the city in the distance. What do you think? Hmm, maybe. It's so weird that they're like all around and I'm seeing more of those lights in the distance. Yeah. I reckon maybe it's the town. I think that they're from the city, so... Maybe that's what people see then. Maybe. So uh, Cluj 
uh, Napoca is quite a big city and it's very close by to the forest. Closer than a lot of the TV shows or things that you've seen on the internet may suggest. Um, yeah, we were watching a Gosha last night and they made it seem like a big deal getting to this forest. And I mean, it is it was hard to get to. It is, but, but it's we not, got here in a taxi. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the middle of nowhere, like it's next to a big city. Okay guys, so I want to do an EVP session. And when I do reach out in places like this, I tend to prefer to do so in the language of that particular country. And I think if I reach out and there are spirits in this forest, they're most likely to interact if I talk to them in Romanian, which I do not speak. I don't have my phone on me right now because I left it back at camp like a dingbat. So what I think that we should do is maybe just remain silent for a little while and see if we can hear anything strange. That's our fire crackling in the distance. <laughs> no, it's not. Our fire's behind me. That's crackling in the. No, that sound came from fire. behind you. Did it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it came from behind you. No, that's the thing. These sounds sound like they're all around us. Things. That is definitely behind you. I see. That's. I swear to God, that's behind you. I think sound echoes in this place and carries. So when there's an animal over here and it treads on a stick and it breaks, we hear it but we actually can't tell where it's coming from. And particularly when you're in the middle of that circle, it just sounds like there's noise all around you, just surrounding you. All right, let's listen. Sounds like the Blair Witch Project when they hear stones banging in the distance. Keeps going. That's definitely an animal, surely. That has to be a deer or something. Okay, so out here, a lot of apparitions have been seen that look as if they are people, but they're made of black shadow. Um, there's also common reports There's definitely somebody walking in there. Yeah. Must be a deer, right? But as I was saying, a lot of people have experienced and reported suddenly forming black mist just out of nowhere. And that usually coincides with apparition sightings as well. So I haven't seen anything similar to that or experienced anything like that, but I can totally just imagine it happening out here. Because particularly at night when it is this dark, it is very creepy. So Jared, can you just repeat what you were telling me just before? That's the thing. Yeah. So, since about four o'clock today, I've been feeling like 
tight chested, like um, anxious or nervous about something, and almost like getting heart palpitations as well. That's really it. A lot of people have also suddenly become ill migraines, headaches, nausea, vomiting. But I also feel like, so four o'clock, that's kind of when I finished moving out of wood. I actually felt honestly like I was working too hard and I wasn't drinking enough or eating enough because I, you know, I ate like half my lunch. So I don't know what it is, but I feel like shit, like really like worn and like, like my chest is really weak and I'm getting like palpitations every now and then. All right, well just tell me if that keeps up or you feel anything else strange, because I want to document that, just in case it means something. Jared watches a lot of space programs about UFOs, aliens and the universe. What do you think about all the UFO sightings in this area, Jared? Do you think they're true? What do you, why do you think there's so many? In general, I feel like, like I believe in aliens and that. Like I feel like they're out there, the universe is too vast and expansive to not have other life forms. But I think it's so vast and expansive that the odds of them coming into contact with us while humans are still around is very small. I don't think they've visited us at all. So do you have an explanation as to why you think this spot specifically, there's been so many sightings and there's even been um, some photographed? Um, I think UFOs as in unidentified flying objects could exist. I don't know, maybe they're military or maybe... People just hear the stories that other people heard and uh, seen a UFO here and then people come out here and their mind tells them what they want to hear or what they want to see, you know? By the way, that's a plane. That's a plane. <laughs> a UFO. Sound like... I didn't hear it. Sound like it came from right behind me. This place is weird. And by the way, we don't have a tent or anything. We are sleeping under the stars and, I mean, apart from not wanting to <laughs> spend the money to buy a tent, uh, I also want to sleep under the stars so if anything does fly over us or any weird lights appear, we have more chance of seeing them and capturing them on film. So I'm setting up my spirit box now, I think because we are camping out in the dead zone this clearing here is so notorious uh, for paranormal activity occurring. Oh, it's so, so scary. All right, guys, this is my spirit box, box session in Hoya Bachu Forest um, in the dead zone. By the way, I don't speak Romanian. I'm going to do my best to reach out in Romanian. Laugh if you will. Buona. Hello. That sound like hello. Might have been. I think they responded to you then. Vorbeschen. Talk to me. Okay, I'm getting a lot of voices through. Can't understand them though. Konten no mesht. Tell me your name. Hi Mori. How did you die? De che estia each. 
zwei hier. Stop this there. There is a, a lot of voices coming through. It is difficult um, and challenging investigating these uh, places in countries that are foreign to me where I don't speak the language. If you do speak Mar Romanian or you noticed any words or phrases come through that kind of made sense to what I was attempting to ask in Romanian, I would love and really appreciate if you could uh, leave me a comment and let me know. All right, guys, we're gonna walk back into a different part of the forest. Um, this one is an area where both Jared and I heard, if we had to describe it, what sounded like an old lady crying out, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna proceed with EVP session. Vorna, hello. Vorbeshten, talk to me. Kuntenomest, what is your name? Who am I, Maury? How did you die? The chair is there each. Why are you here? from behind you. I swear that came from that way. No, to me it came from behind you. To me it came from behind you. This forest is weird. You know what is scary to think of? What's that? Okay, all the stories of people getting lost in here and going missing for years on end and then reappearing years later with no recollection of what happened. Imagine if we're lost right now. And this is day one? Yeah, really like we've been gone for five years. Well, yeah, that'd be creepy. And we don't even know. Everyone else outside the forest is like looking for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's creepy. All right, so we've done an EVP. I'm going to have to review the footage later and see if we pick up on anything. 
Now, since it is so creepy, I thought I would lighten the mood a little bit. And also, since you guys are watching this on Halloween, we have some Halloween candies to sample. Similar to what we did at Dracula's Castle. Uh, we did a little twist this time, though, where I picked out some candy for Jared and he picked out some candy for me. They're all foreign and we have no idea what we're going to be sampling. So let's uh, find out what we got each other. Alright, so Amy's turn for her first chocolate. <laughs> really excited. <laughs> Alright, so the first one I chose for you is this one for everyone at home. Okay. Hmm. It tastes like not the best quality chocolate. I am going to give Jared his first treat, which he doesn't actually know what it is, it is this one. Here you go. Joe Extra Extra Large. <laughs> it's not that large though, really. Mm, chocolate covered wafer. Yeah. Good quality, yeah. Okay, time for Amy's last chocolate. We have... Just what I always wanted. <laughs> wanted nuts. <laughs> It's hard to open with gloves. Ooh, lost a nut. That is, that is good. Almost broke all my teeth on it, but it's good. <laughs> all right, are you ready for your last treat? Yep. This one is the best one, and you, you're gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> so when I saw this, I couldn't resist buying it for Jared. A bum bar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, put that bum in your it's mouth. Like it came out of someone's bum. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, it's getting really late and it is freezing cold. So we're going to jump into our sleeping bags and call it a night. Done a fair bit of investigating and it's found this place to be pretty creepy and interesting. I'm probably just gonna lay here with my eyes open all night looking out for strange lights and whatnot. I can try and capture that on camera if I do see anything. Um, but we will try and get some sleep and if we survive the night, you'll see us again in the morning. All right guys, we managed to survive the night. Just waiting for the sun to fully come up now and we're packing up the campsite it was freezing cold and our sleeping bag got really wet from condensation thank you guys so much for watching and have a happy halloween if you did like this video please remember to like comment and subscribe that way i can keep taking you on these spooky adventures if you're looking for a bit more reading on haunted places head to amyscrypt.com and remember guys until next time, stay spooky. This is where Jared's head was all night. He slept on a piece of poo. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs>